All right, guys, what is going on? We just got back home. I got two, two more big surprises to show you guys today. Not really surprised, but this is a 36 stand on hustler. That's a 60 inch uh, sit down hustler. And uh, we're gonna kind of go through the machines. But before we do that, I kind of want to answer some of the, uh, the questions that I know I'm gonna get in this video and kind of address the elephant in the room uh, per se. Um, the first question I want to tackle is uh, why did I decide to get three new mowers and not use some of the mowers that I already have? So the biggest reason for that is all three of my mowers that I have right now, which is the bagging walker, the, uh, the 52 walker, and the Skag 52 V-Ride, all three of those mowers have been they, they've been abused. Okay, let's just be honest with them, uh, with you guys. They've, they've been abused over the years. Um, they all still run fine, they cut good and all that, but they all have their kind of little little quirks and and uh, some things don't work quite right, but you just kind of adjust. You, you guys kind of know how it goes. Um, but all three mowers have well over a thousand hours on them. Um, the bagging walker has the most, and I think it's up to like 1600. Um, but, but they're all just getting up there in age. And when we were doing a lot of the city properties a couple years ago, those mowers just got, they got manhandled. They got abused. And um, I kind of wanted to start off uh, fresh and, you know, get some new mowers with warranties and all that type of stuff. And uh, something that I'm not going to have to worry about for a long time. So, um, so that's the biggest reason why I decided to um, kind of revamp my fleet and just kind of go away from the stuff that I was doing. And also another reason, which I've talked about a lot, is I'm transitioning from bagging grass to uh, mulching and side discharging. And that's not to mean that I'm not gonna bag at all, but I will bag I will bag some just to kind of clean up properties here and there. But for the most part, um, I'd say probably 85% of the time we are going to either be mulching or we're gonna be side discharging. And I just think, um, I just think over the years, like my thinking and the way I do things have kind of progressed a little bit. And, um, you know, some of the, some of the reasons why I got the bagger back in the day was because I was doing a lot of properties for one company that they, they, they wanted me to bag and they paid for me to bag. So, um, but since I don't have that account no more, um, you know, my, my residential clients now, they don't care. They don't care if I bag, they don't care if I side discharge, they want their yard to look good, they want it to look clean, and uh, and that's that's the only thing they pay attention to. So um, so I really don't have to bag now, and that's kind of why I'm wanting to transition uh, away from doing that, so I can hopefully do things a little bit more efficient and uh, maybe a little bit better. So, um, you know, we could, we could talk all day long about um, uh, taking nutrients from the yard and all that type of stuff with bagging, and, and I get all that and you know, I'm not definitely not saying that's the reason why I'm making this change. Uh, but it may be just a small little smidge of a, of a percent um, that's kind of in the back of my head. So another question I know I'm gonna get is why did I decide to go with Hustler? And this, and this will kind of, uh, you know, kind of relate to, you know, the, the, the last question, the elephant in the room per se, uh, were these mowers free? Um, so with, with these mowers, um, uh, I, I did get them. I did get a good rate on these mowers. I got a good discount on these mowers and, uh, that, that did play a part in it. But another part is, um, I've literally not heard anybody say anything bad about hustler mowers. I've been kind of keeping an eye out over the years. You know, people have this and this and this, and I've always heard that mowers or hustler mowers were, they're built really well and they cut really good. And those are the two things that I like. Um, I like a mower that cuts real well. I like a mower that's built well, so I don't have to do a lot of maintenance and uh, things aren't broken down all the time. So um, those are the things that kind of piqued my interest. And then when Hustler reached out to me last year about the Super 88, testing it out and stuff, I actually found out that they're literally 45 minutes from my house. That's where the factory is. That's where everything is made. And I just thought that was super, super cool. And I'm kind of a homer guy. I, I just am, you know, I'm a fan of the Chiefs. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> so 
So anyway, I'm kind of a homer guy. I'm a fan of the Chiefs. I like the Royals. And, you know, I kind of I like supporting hometown. So when I found out that they were not too far from me, and that's where the manufacturing place is, and that's where everything is done at, their assembly line and everything, I just I thought that was super cool. So they brought me up there, walked the line, uh, went into the facility, kind of see how everything was made met a lot of great people up there and um you know it really really piqued my interest and good job for hustler for doing that um but but yeah so you know that's that's definitely an aspect of it and another aspect of it is just to be plain and simple is i got a really good deal on these mowers i got a really good deal so that definitely played a part in um me choosing hustler but but for those reasons there that's why i decided to go with hustler um Skag has been a great mower for me. I have no complaints about the Skag. Walker has been a great mower for me. Um, I definitely don't want to turn this video into bashing other mowers and things like that. Uh, my Skag dealer, that uh, Don up there in Benton, Kansas, has been the best dealer that I've ever had in my life. Um, it actually breaks my heart that I won't be kind of dealing with him much anymore after this. Uh, but, um, but things are the way they are, you know. Um, you know, I have a dealer closer to me now. The only complaint that I ever had about my Skag dealer was he's just as far away from me as the Hustler Manufacturing Place is, pretty much, time-wise. And um, so it's it's quite a little jaunt over there to to get anything worked on. But they are fabulous at that place. I have nothing. They are tremendous. I, I can't say enough about them. But. Uh, but for those reasons that I explained, that's why I chose to go with the Hustler mowers. And the biggest elephant in the room right now, which um, I've already kind of been getting some, some feedback on, is were these mowers free? Were they 100% free? Um, all those types of questions. Did Hustler just give me these mowers and, and whatever? And that, that is not the case, guys. That is not the case. Um, like I said before, I did get a really good deal on these mowers. Um, did I get a little extra deal because of my YouTube channel? Yes, I did. I'm not going to lie to you guys about that. I did get a really good deal. Um, and that, that, that played a huge part in me with these mowers. Um, uh, but I've been really happy work, working with Hustler so far. I've been really satisfied with the uh, 52, um, that we got earlier. Haven't really done a whole lot with it, but, uh, but what, what we've done, I've been really happy with it. And if you're one of those people that watch uh, lawn care videos on YouTube and you see somebody get a good deal or a free mower or something like that uh, because of their YouTube channel or whatever and you get you get really mad about that, like really super mad, then I'm probably not the guy for you. So um, that's just, just the way it is. Uh, one thing I've always kind of prided myself on with my YouTube channel is being uh, being honest being 100% honest with everybody and um, and just playing it playing it that way you know they, once you start getting into kind of pleasing everybody and all that type of stuff it just doesn't work out very well so um, I just want to be honest with everybody and say you know these mowers are not free but I did get a good discount on these mowers and I'm not going to go into every single detail that's really nobody else's business but mine but if you're if, but like I said if you're one of those guys that just oh now i can't trust anything he says and blah blah blah, blah. that's fine I, I really don't care because i think i've built up the trust with the people that know me the people that watch my videos i've built up that trust and and to be 100 percent honest with you guys i'm not somebody that just even when i had the walkers in the skag i'm not somebody that goes around in my videos oh you should buy a walker or oh if you don't have a skag you're you're stupid yeah, that's just not me okay i've never done that and, uh, and I got a really good deal on the Skag, by the way, um, when, when I bought it. And uh, the, the, the Walkers, you know, I bought those as well. But I love those machines. I really do. I love those machines. And I still have never been, you guys need to go buy Walkers. You need to go buy Skags. I really don't care what you guys buy. I don't. I've never been that type of guy. I will never be that type of guy. And that, that's just kind of the way it is with me. Um, you know, if, if I make a video about how a mower performs or whatever and, and 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 my deal has always been you know i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys what these mowers can do i don't care i don't care if you guys go buy hustler mowers at all i really don't i don't care they're 
they're gonna work great for me and that's all I care about with my business so you know I don't have like an affiliate link with them or anything I don't have anything like that so I could I could care less about all that drama but I just wanted to point out if you're somebody who gets mad over somebody getting a, a free trimmer or a good deal on mowers or something like that then I'm sorry I, I really don't know what else to tell you um, so those are the three biggest questions that I, I assumed I was going to get. I'm sure there's going to be more. Um, so if you do have questions, leave them in the comments. I do try to apply, uh, reply to everybody. Um, kind of my thing is I, I, re, I try to reply to everybody within a day. And then I've kind of moved on to other videos. But if I see something, I'll, I'll reply to it. But, um, but, you know, as far as the hustler stuff goes, um, I'm not going to tell you guys what I paid for them. I'm not going to tell you guys... Um, every little nook and cranny just know that I got a good deal on these mowers I did I can't lie about that I got a really good deal on these mowers uh, but they are not 100% free so I'm just gonna leave it at that so right now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna pull these things out I'm gonna kind of do a walk around real quick uh, on them and let you guys see them and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think Okay guys, so here they are. This is the 36 Super S. Uh, it's got the FX 600V Kawasaki. And uh, yeah. I'm actually really excited about this one. It's been a long time since I had a 36 stand on. So those are 20 inch wheels on the back, which I like. This one here is the 60 inch X1. Sit down. These are our 24s on the back. And this is a 850 V EFI. So these two together with my 52, in my opinion, creates the perfect setup for me. So I went with Stander on most of my residential. Uh, so most of my residential, we're gonna run the 36 Stander and the 52 Stander. And then on the, the couple of bigger properties that I have, we're gonna run the, the 60. And in my opinion, this allows me with this setup to kind of do, do anything that I possibly ever want to do. You know, if I decide to get into a little bit bigger properties or more bigger properties later on, a year or two down the road, I got the mower to do it. If I want to just stay with residential and do small residential, I got the mowers to do it. So, um, so yeah, that's basically it guys. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, leave your comments below. I know there's going to be a lot of questions and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Uh, but Hey, this is my, uh, this is my fleet for this year. <laughs>